Hello everyone, I'm Amelia and today we are talking about what to do when your horse hollows or puts their head up in the trot to canter transition or in the transition into canter. Let me know in the comments if you struggle with this. I think that almost all of us struggle that when we ask our horse to canter, we basically suddenly realize that our horse isn't honestly through and connected and a lot of times they'll put their head up because it's easier for them. So in today's video, I'm going to give you three tips to help keep your horse rounder in the transition into the canter. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel because I post a new video every Wednesday. Also check out in the description, I have a free mini course on confidence. So if you're struggling with confidence, if you're struggling with even cantering, be sure to check out that mini course. So tip number one for if your horse hollows in the canter, is to go back to your trot walk trot transitions so oftentimes you will be able to fix the hollowing in the canter when you really go back and focus on these transitions so i want to make sure that when i go from walk to trot that my horse's neck position does not change so you don't want to stare down at your horse's head but you kind of want to use your peripheral vision what I see now is that I see an arc in his neck so that like from his pull to his withers there's basically a semicircle in front of me. That's how I know if he's round. Then when I ask for the trot I'm really focusing on that that pull position does not change. That that arc in his neck stays exactly the same and that he does not hollow in the walk to trot transition because I guarantee you if your horse hollows in the trot to canter transition they hollow a little bit in these trot walk trot transitions so just go back to your trot walk trots really work on it if you find oh my gosh like my horse totally comes above and inverts and puts his head up when I ask for trot like this and see how that time I lost the frame, he's not round anymore. So if that's the case, then you need to make your horse a little extra round. So if I'm here and I wanna make my horse a little extra round, I take my hands a little wide and then I move, I keep a steady outside rein and I supple that inside rein to get him a little bit rounder. So I hold the outside rein, I move my fingers on the inside rein to get him a little bit rounder. I have him a little extra round and then as I close my legs for the trot my hands could be a little wide I'm moving my fingers and I'm saying hey stay round and stay there good boy so that's tip number one go back to your trot walk trot transitions tip number two is to ride the trot a little more forward and rounder into the canter so what I see happen a lot of times is people are just kind of like going in this slow trot and the horse isn't really round and then they say okay canter and canter come on canter and see the horse like basically puts his head up and he doesn't really understand what i want him to do because he wasn't prepared so instead i'm going to get him round i'm going to think about riding a little more forward in the trot so i might even go posting trot and say come on trot a little bigger trot a little more forward make sure that I can really keep him round in this bigger trot. I want to be able to have steady on the outside rein and giving on the inside rein and then carry that roundness into the canter. So I wouldn't say he hollowed in that transition. He did come up a little tiny bit when he picked up the canter. So I'm just going to get a really nice canter going again get that nice rhythm that i need and then back to the trot round round forward 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 round 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 good boy make sure that you stay kind of riding your horse through the transition so as i'm asking him for canter i'm making sure to keep him round and keep riding him through in that transition. It also really helps 
to think about having your horse in a little bit of a bending line. So like he's off my inside leg and into my outside rein. So he's really diagonally through here. And with that bend, with that shoulder four, trotting forward, 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 canter. Good boy. Good boy. So that's tip number two is have your horse a little rounder and more forward in the trot and then just kind of prioritize like if you go like if i'm trotting along here and i go to ask to canter and he puts his head up get him round again keep thinking canter keep thinking canter get him round keep thinking canter get him round get him round get him round good so prioritize him staying round over that he has to actually canter right when you ask him good boy mercurio good boy so my third tip which would probably be my first tip because you always want to check your position first and a lot of the times horses hollow in the trot canter transition because our position doesn't stay honest so one of the most common things that I see, and like I literally see this all the time, is someone's going along and they have like a pretty nice trot going. The horse is round, everything's nice. And then it comes time to canter and they completely change. Like they go like this, they lean forward and they're like, come on, canter. Okay, so <laughs> sorry, Margario, but you can see how there's no way that my horse can stay round when I change my position that much. So instead you really want to think about, okay, hands down, seat connected, legs wrapped around my horse, really following elbows, following seat, half fall and canter. So you see how I really stayed fluid and right with him throughout that transition good boy so that he could stay round and through and supple in the transition boy good boy good boy good boy mercurio so those are three tips that i have let me know in the comments what other tricks you use with your horse to help them stay round in the canter. And I also have a lot of other videos about canter, different ways to set up the canter transition. I like using, you can use a leg yield into the canter transition. You can do the snowman, just kind of figure out what works best for your horse. But um, always going back to the basics. So going back to like your walk, trot, walk, checking in with your position that's super important to help figure out why your horse is hollowing in the canter transition. So I hope you like this video and be sure to check out the free mini courses that I have linked in the description below.